Well, I just recorded like 10 minutes of me opening up the St. Pai and talking about it, and the camera actually didn't roll anything. So I will just recap very briefly. Basically, this is a 8 by frame that I ordered, and this time I did not go for the Matthews or American or Modern Studio frame. This is what I keep seeing as a kind of a generic 8 by butterfly frame um, that's been white labeled by a few different companies. I've seen it by Digital Juice. I've seen it by like uh, Sunburst or something like that. This particular brand, I guess, is Flashpoint. It's just an Amazon purchase. So um, I was going over the rags that, that came with it and I was happily, I thought I was just getting a solid and some kind of silk or, or diffusion. And um, I'll show you what it actually came with. So it came with the diffusion, which it looks like ripstop or some kind of like grid. I don't know, don't know exactly what it is. I don't know how well it's set up to heat, so I wouldn't get any big sources close to it. Most of my stuff's LEDs, so I'm not too worried about it, but um, that's just something to think about. And these guys, uh, they come with these cute little quick release tie offs, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to be replacing right away with just regular old cotton cord or paracord or something like that because having to loop these suckers um, in every single, if I can get this open, oh my goodness, eye hole every time would be a pain in the butt when you could just tie it off really fast. If maybe if these stayed in their little loops in the bag, that might be worth kind of hang, hanging on to like that putting around the frame, coming back around. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But, and the elastic, you know, you can't necessarily snug it super tight like you would. We'll see how much tolerance there is between the frame and the diffusion. You really want these rags to be tight. But there you go. Uh, I don't know what kind of stop that's gonna be, how much light we're gonna lose, but I don't know, half stop diffusion maybe. But yeah, not too shabby for an included item. And then this guy, they sent a green rag with it. Who would have thought? I didn't know they were gonna do that. Um, it's just the, the green, like synthetic muslin. So it's not going to be great for outdoors. If it's like bat backlit by the sun, getting hit by the sun, you want to double up your solid and then your green in front of it, just so that you have a nice solid back. So that you're not having any kind of bleed through. Um, and it's going to wrinkle because the, the foam back ones are really nice. They, like the wrinkles come out really fast for this guy. He's going to be wrinkled pretty much no matter what, so I'll try and roll it up as much as I can in the case. Uh, I've got to get some bags for these guys, but that's pretty cool that they sent one along. So I've got an 8x rag now. Um, and then we were going to just dig into, and they sent um, the tiles for each rag too, so they can just live on the rags great. Here's our solid. And I knew it wasn't going to be duvetine because <laughs> um, this solid's not very solid. You can see through it. So that's a little hokey coming from, it's more of like a black silk, honestly. Actually, that, that does feel like a black silk more than anything. So immediately I'll have to order a black uh, solid, 8x solid, to make this thing useful. And it'll block some light, but it's not going to be a total light blocker. Um, but again, I think the whole the whole package I think was like 350 bucks for the frame and the pre rags came with it, which is pretty darn good for um, for the price. Now this is going to be, I guess it also depends on what the frame is like. I have not used this frame myself, never actually touched one, and so build quality is going to be the biggest question when it comes to worth the 300 bucks or if it's not going to be usable at all. So off the bat, the brackets, they seem half decent. Here's our folding frame. And it looks like it slides in this little pouch here. And this is all hinged. I lifted a lot this morning. Okay, it looks 
like four foot sections. So it unfolds and then and you stand it up, which is a much easier assembly by one guy than just trying to put the four edges together. That seems pretty decent. Oh, let's see here. And then each corner, it's got these little brackets that slide over and lock once they're straight. Oh. Um, it looks like I didn't do those corners up there, but that's the idea. You know what? It's not not too shabby. I can feel a little bit <laughs> okay, that took a lot longer than expected, and it seems like there's probably a process to do that correctly and do it right. Uh, and if you don't, you got to make sure the sucker's secured because if the wind picks it up, knocks it over, I think all these little joints and corners and hinges are going to be screwed up. So, but overall, I don't think it's a bad buy for 350 bucks. So we'll get it out on set and tell you what we think later on. But there we go. 8 by foldable, collapsible overhead frame. I'm excited.